Now once you get all those synthesized, we're going to go back to our regular prepare for segue method over here. So now that we have the string that we're going to pass the information to in our view controller to, we're going to go back to our prepare for segue method here, and we're going to tell the string where we want it to go now. So now we're going to basically write VC, which is going to be our destination view controller pointer here, and we're going to say uh, intro, and you'll see that we have two options, we've got intro image and intro string, so this is going to be the string in our view controller too and we're going to set that equal to the string that we want. So in this case our string is intro here so it's going to say hello my friend. Okay so now we can take this if statement and we can basically duplicate it except for now we're going to say else and we're going to put in else if statement here. So if it isn't the first it's going to be this particular one and in this case we're going to change our segue identifier to hola and instead of hello my friend it's gonna be hola mi amigo and this is gonna stay consistent because we're basically gonna pass a, a new string to our intro string in our view controller too. Now the last one I threw an image in there just so you guys can see a little bit of the difference and we're basically gonna copy this else if statement again because we're looking again for our segue identifier and in this case our segue identifier is gonna be BAM as you guys remember and instead of it being a string here what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that with a UI image so we're gonna simply write UI image and we're gonna say image and we're gonna set that equal to now this gets a little bit uh, different from what you guys are used to image names and we're gonna set it to a string of some sort now we don't have an image actually imported into our project yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I've got our image which I'm gonna drop into our project make sure your copy items into destination and your added target is selected and go ahead and click click finish and so now that string is gonna be simply one two dot oh, PNG alright so with that developed you'll see that uh, we do have an error here because we can't pass a UI image into a string and that's why we actually went and set up that UI image in our view controller 2 which you'll see is intro image and so now we're gonna take that and so now we're gonna take that and instead of intro string we're gonna change this to intro image and instead of intro we're changing it to image because I actually changed that up there and so now with that said we've got everything done with this particular method and so now the only thing we have to do is we have to go back to our view controller 2 and we've got uh, basically all the information being passed to these particular objects here particularly the intro image and the intro string are loaded with stuff depending on the prepare for segue you know whichever buttons pushed now we have to tell these intro strings and intro image where we want them to go and so we want the intro image to go to the image view and the intro string to go to the label. So we are going to go down to the view did load and we're basically going to write label set text and we're going to set the text to our intro string. And we're going to do the same thing with our image view. We called our image view image view and we're going to set the image in this case to our UI image of intro image. Don't forget your semicolons at the end. So we should be all good to go. Let's go ahead and run our application. And so you should have some, something very similar to actually what we showed at the beginning where you click hello and we should get a label with hello my friend. Go to hola, we got hola mi amigo. And finally, bam, with our image view there. So as you guys can see, the prepare for segue is very powerful because we can quickly identify which segue we're using where it's coming from, whether it's this button, this button, or this button, and we can pass information through that using NS strings, UI images, any kind of objects we can pass through that uh, segue and the identifier there. So that is your quick tip of the day. We will catch you guys in the next tutorial.